Okay, you f first thing you're going to want to take out these uh, um, 11 screws, looks like. You got to use one of these special bits. This is the Quiet Series 300 Maytag dishwasher. It's got no power at the panel, so. Um, I just took the. This, this here is going to separate now. Once you get that separated, that the weight of that holds this down, but here's your safety switch, your circuit board. Um, underneath is where the wire comes in, but what I can tell is this, uh, watching YouTube, this right here is probably what's bad, so I'm not going to undo the wire down there just yet, because I think it's fine. It should be getting power. But uh, I'm going to see what this right here, the ribbon cable, seems to be a lot of problem from corrosion. So I'm going to have a look see at that. Okay, after I got down here messing around on the dishwasher, and they had this wired up with just tape. It was a horrible, horrible, didn't have no uh, wire nuts on it. So I was here. And I was at the fuse box, it says dishwasher. Well, I had it shut off. And anyway, I was down here with my needle nose pliers starting to peel the tape off because I couldn't check it until I got the damn tape off. And while I was pulling the tape off, the dishwasher started up. When I was pulling the tape off of the black side here. So, that was quite scary. So then I started trying to find the breaker that controlled this. I never did find the breaker that I thought I'd found it. I thought it was on the same one with the refrigerator, which would have been bad, but it, uh, no, I kicked it off again. And evidently, when I kicked the breaker off that kicked the fridge off, this just happened to shut off at the same time. So I gotta find the breaker that controls this. I had ducked the back panel off again and all that, but that wasn't the, the issue. I had took all that off. Unplugged the ribbon cable, plugged it back in. Well, I didn't unplug it all the way. I just wiggled it back and forth. Uh, but when I was, that, there was a loose connection down here. I guess, you know, like I said, they had a horrible, horrible wiring job. And, uh, with no wire nuts. So I redone that and put the wire nuts on, black tape and all that. So I'm gonna kick the power back onto the house here. I shut the main off because I was afraid not to. Cause I, well, I had to, I didn't know what breaker it was on. But now I'm shutting, turn the main back on. Uh, we'll see if this, uh, it's got power now, so, now I'm going to try to find the breaker that powers it. Okay, I found the one it was. Oddly enough, it's on this weird uh, set up here on this upper one that said AC. But when the bottom one said stove light, I got thinking, well, I thought all this might have been with the AC, you know, the heat pump stuff. But not so. The top one was the dishwasher, which I labeled now the best I could. And I marked the old one out, which obviously about got me electrocuted. So, moral of the story, always shut the main power off and still check it with a multimeter because you just never know. You know, this house was built like in the, around 1980, so, you know, it's had several stuff redone, I guess. Heat pumps put in and uh, dishwashers and, I mean, but anyway... 
always better to be safe than sorry. 